Here's another TV antenna I made out of some scrap copper tubing and a piece of wood. This is known as a folded dipole design and it's based off this style of antenna which is a basic dipole. You can see that this one has two elements or arms that extend outwards and this one here has a single piece of copper tubing that's been uh, bent around a radius and then right here it's split and that is where you connect your transformer and that differs from this one here where the transformer connects the two separate elements in the middle. I built this antenna to receive channel 2 on the low VHF band and this piece of copper tubing is almost 8 feet long. This basic dipole is built to receive channel 7 which broadcasts at 177 megahertz and makes the elements a total of about 32 inches long. If I built this to receive channel 2 which broadcasts at 57 megahertz, these elements would be a total of 8 feet long. That's why I went with a folded dipole. To make this antenna I took an 8 foot piece of copper tubing straightened it out and then made a mark two feet in on either end and that's where I made these radius bends using a spray paint can. I pounded the ends of the pipe flat with a hammer and that gave me a flat surface to screw the transformer to. And that's not an exact science but I think that's going to be pretty close. So the overall length of the antenna is about four feet which would be half the length of the antenna if it was a basic dipole. Now one of the big advantages to using a folded dipole antenna like this is that the impedance matches perfectly to a piece of that old style flat twin lead ribbon cable that used to be used for TV antennas long ago. Of course uh, since that time everything has moved to coaxial cable and that's why you need one of these transformers here. The impedance of this flat ribbon twin lead here is 300 ohms and this transformer transforms that 300 ohm twin lead cable to 75 ohm which is the impedance for coaxial cable and then you can connect this directly to your TV or digital converter box. I'm not an electrical engineer but my understanding of impedance is that it's how much a circuit opposes the flow of current and when you have a matching impedance between your antenna elements and your antenna wire, you're going to get maximum signal transfer with little loss. And that means you're gonna have a better overall TV signal. All right, I have it screwed to a fence post here and it's facing the direction of my local broadcast towers. Let me just say that making a folded dipole antenna is actually supposed to be a precision operation. You're supposed to pay close attention to the spacing of the elements as well as your radius bends. I didn't really do that. I just kind of spitballed this. So hopefully this is going to work out. Let's go see what kind of signal strength we're getting with it. This is VHF channel 2 and we're getting a really good signal strength here in the mid 70s. Usually to get this kind of signal strength on this channel, I need to use a larger Yagi style antenna with long eight foot elements. But we seem to be getting some really good gain with this folded dipole. Also, the signal strength is pretty stable. It's only bouncing around by two or 3%. So it looks like that antenna is really holding the signal nicely. And this is VHF channel four, CHFD. So again, we're getting signal strength in the low 70s. This channel is a bit more finicky. So this is actually a really good signal strength to get this channel at. Doesn't usually get much higher than this, even with a larger antenna. This is channel nine TVO. This channel is a little stronger and you could see that uh, the signal strength is good here. We're even touching 80%. So I'm really happy with the performance of this homemade folded dipole. It's doing better than I thought it would. This antenna really surprised. It performs quite well considering that it cost me next to nothing to make. Someone gave me the copper tubing they were going to throw in the garbage and I already had the transformer and a board laying around. 
So I guess the takeaway here is that you don't always have to spend a ton of money to have a TV antenna that performs. You can make your own. And if you're interested in doing that, look in the description of this video. There is a link there to a table of TV channel frequencies as well as an online calculator that will do all the math for you. All you have to do is punch in the frequency of the channel you want to receive and it will work out the length of the elements for you. Check that out if you're interested in trying a DIY TV antenna. You might be very pleased with the results.